Hey, what's going on guys? Brian Kelly here from Zombie Guitar. Here in today's video, I just want to do a follow-up of the previous video that I did, which is called This is Why You Don't Understand Modes. So definitely watch part one before watching this video. This video is more advanced. This video will most likely confuse you if you did not already watch part one. So definitely watch part one first. I'll put a link to that below. If you're watching this video from YouTube, I'll put a link here in the video as well. So um, yes, definitely watch part one first. So um, in part one, just a quick summary, I talked about that modes are based on chords. So if you take a key signature, let's take the key signature of C major, for example. If you take a key signature and you look at the seven chords that are found in that key, depending on which one of those seven chords that you dictate to be the tonal center, that dictates the mode. Modes are sounds. Modes are sounds that are produced when you take the, the seven notes of the key signature that you're working in, which in this case is the key signature of C major, you play those seven notes in any order, it doesn't matter, you don't, it doesn't matter which note you start on, it doesn't matter which note you end on, you just play those seven notes in any order, but if you play them over the one chord, the first chord within a key, it's going to produce the Ionian sound. If you play those seven notes of the key signature over the two chord in a key, it's going to produce the Dorian sound. You play them over the three chord, it's going to produce the Phrygian sound. So you're just taking the seven notes of the key, you're using them as your improvisational framework, you use them to solo, you can play them anywhere in the entire neck of the guitar, because there's the, those seven notes are found all up and down the neck of the guitar. So you play those seven notes, and depending on which one of those chords you play them over, dictates the mode. In any given key signature, you have seven notes, you have seven chords, you have seven modes. That's why there's seven modes because it's based on which one of the chords is the tonal center of the key signature. So that's what I talked about in part one. So the other reason that you may be getting confused by modes is because you may not be aware of the fact that there are two perspectives. There's a relative perspective and a parallel perspective. When you're going down the rabbit hole of studying modes, you're watching YouTube videos, you're going on Facebook, you know, reading the different posts, listening to the people's different explanation on what modes are. Typically, people are either going to be explaining modes from the relative perspective or the parallel perspective, but not always both. The fact that there are two perspectives and the fact that you're not aware that there are two perspectives is the reason that you are confused by modes, all right? In part one, the last video, I was talking purely about the relative perspective of modes. I didn't talk about the parallel, I talked about the relative. So the relative perspective is where everything shares the same notes, everything is part of the same key signature. So in part one, I talked, I, I used the uh, key signature of C major as the example. So if you take your C major scale and you play it over the second chord within the key signature of C major, the result is going to be Dorian. It's going to be D Dorian. The notes of D Dorian share the same notes as the C major scale. The notes of E Phrygian share the same notes as the C major scale. The notes of F Lydian share the same notes as the C major scale. Everything is the same notes. Everything is the same chords. Everything is in the same key signature. That is the relative perspective of modes. So the parallel perspective is where everything shares the same root. All right, so C Ionian versus C Dorian versus C Phrygian versus C Lydian. So everything has the root C. So you're looking at each of these modal scales in comparison to one another and you're comparing the sound of them, but they all have the same root. All right, so when you do that, each of the seven scales that you're comparing to one another are a different set of seven notes. They are seven different key signatures. So C Ionian is coming from C major, all right? C Dorian is coming from a different parent key. C Phrygian is coming from yet a different parent key, all right? So everything is coming from a different key signature, but they all share the same root. That is the parallel perspective. So for this video, we're just gonna use the root note C. So it's gonna be C Ionian, C Dorian, C Phrygian, C Lydian. Everything's gonna be C rooted. I'm just gonna use one single little pattern. I'm gonna start it right here on the eighth fret of the low E string, but you could play anywhere in the entire neck of the guitar because even though that there's six strings in the guitar and 22 frets, there's only 12 notes on the guitar. So these notes can be found anywhere in the entire neck of the guitar. It doesn't matter what pattern you use. So I'm just gonna use this little pattern right here starting on the eighth fret. And we're gonna compare all seven of the modes with the root note C right there. So let's start out with C Ionian. So C Ionian is just another name for C major. So the scale formula for C Ionian or the scale formula for the Ionian scale is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that would be this. 
So I'm just playing one octave starting on C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so that is Ionian. So let's go to um, Dorian. The scale formula for Dorian is one, two, flat three, four, five, six, flat seven. So one, two, flat in the third note, four, five, six, flat in the seventh note. So here's C Dorian. All right, let's look at C Phrygian. The scale formula for Phrygian is one, flat two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. So one, flat two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, back at one. All right, let's see Phrygian. C uh, Lydian is one, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven. So one, take your fourth note, sharpen it, five, six, seven, one. So that's C Lydian. C Mixolydian, the scale formula for Mixolydian is one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, then you're back at one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, one. Mixolydian. Um, the next one is Aeolian. That is one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, back at one. So here's Aeolian. Another name for Aeolian is natural minor. All right, so another name for Ionian is major. Aeolian scale is the natural minor scale. All right, so the sixth mode of the major scale is the natural minor scale. So that's what that was. And then the final mode is Locrian. So that is one, flat two, flat three, four, flat five, flat six, flat seven. So that's what, like this. All right, so that's the scale formulas for each of these seven modes. So one way to compare the sound of each of these seven modes together would be to just play each of them over one single drone note. So what I mean by drone note is, since we're comparing all C types of scales, C Ionian, C Dorian, C Phrygian, um, the root note is C. So I could just play one single note as the rhythm section. It's called a drone note. So I could just play the note C, hold it out indefinitely, and then play each one of these modal scales back to back. So you're going to hear the difference between Ionian versus Dorian versus Phrygian versus Lydian. You're just playing it over one single drone note, which is C. So check this out. So the other way to compare the sound of each of the modes is to play them over a chord. So as we talked about in part one, you know, certain modes correspond with a major chord within the key signature, certain modes correspond with a minor chord within the key signature, and then one of the modes corresponds with the diminished chord. 
within the key signature. In any given key signature, you have three major chords, three minor chords, and one diminished chord. So modes are classified by either major types of modes or minor types of modes. So um, Ionian is a major type of mode, Lydian is a major type of mode, Mixolydian is a major type of mode. Ionian corresponds with the one chord, Lydian corresponds with the four chord, Mixolydian corresponds with the five chord. Those are the, the three major chords in any given key signature. You then have your minor types of modes. So Dorian, Phrygian, and Aeolian are minor types of modes. So Dorian corresponds with the two chord, Phrygian corresponds with the three chord, Aeolian corresponds with the six chord. Those are the three minor chords found in any given key signature. You then have Locrian, which corresponds with the diminished chord. Any key signature has three major, three minor, and one diminished chord. So Locrian corresponds with the diminished chord. So rather than just playing each of the modes over just a single drone note C, I'm going to play the three major chord or the three major modes over a C major chord. I'm then going to play the three minor chords over a C minor chord. I'm then going to play the Locrian mode over a C half diminished chord or C diminished triad. So that is the parallel relationship between the modes. When you look at each of the seven modes compared back to back, each of which has the same root, and you look at the scale formulas of each one, there's a different intervallic relationship between the scale and the root note. You're keeping the root note constant. In this case, it was C. The root note was C every time. But, you know, playing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 versus 1, 2, 3, sharp 4, 5, 6, 7 versus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, flat 7, versus 1, 2, flat 3, 4, 5, flat 6, flat 7, you know, you, you alter the intervallic relationship between the notes of the scale and the root. That's why each of these modes have, have a different sound. All right, so in part one, we just looked at the relative relationship. We looked at one single key signature. Now we looked at each of the modes back to back, each of which has is coming from a different key signature. If you take nothing else from this video, what I want you to take is that there are two perspectives, and that's it, all right? Just now, two perspectives. From now on, when you are watching YouTube videos, when you are reading people's comments on Facebook and stuff like that, Ask yourself, are they talking about the relative perspective or are they talking about the parallel perspective? Knowing that there are two perspectives, that's huge, all right? That's gonna do it for this video. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.